Okay, so this year it just keeps on getting better and better. I have had an amazing jewelry haul from my car boot sale for peanuts. Um, sun's been out this week, it's been cold, and the public were out, and I bought some amazing jewelry that I'm going to share with you now. Stick around and have a look at my jewelry haul. Okay, so should we get started? I've had things from a pound all the way up to a couple of hundred pounds. So I don't know which way you want to start, but I got to spot car boot sale at about three o'clock Thursday morning and it was snowing. I know where I said sun's out and it has been the sun. I got sunburned. Um, but first thing, three o'clock in the morning, it was snowing and we were all there with our torches setting up. And a lady comes in and she's pulling cushions out and tubs out full of jewelry pieces. Everything was a pound a piece. So I'm going to share with you what I bought off her first. Where do I start? Okay. The first little piece I had off her, which is a vintage sterling silver galleon or ship set with marker seats. There's fully stamped sterling on the back. I have got some images to share with you. That was the uh, first one. I had a selection of standard costume jewelry butterflies. They do get better, don't worry. So I had those two. They're costume jewelry, nothing special. And I had these two. So yeah, they cost me a pound each, same as the others. And to be honest with you, that's probably not far off of the work. I put those on a group for a group for about 10 or 15 pounds. Then I start coming into this type of butterfly. That is a sterling silver enamel butterfly. And it has been produced by John Atkins and Son. And it is fully stamped on the back, John Atkins. And I've got some prices to um, share with you and show you some of the prices his brooches pull. There's the brooch. I'm going to show you some photographs with you in just a moment. Again, that was only a pound. First of all, I want to just show you some of the prices on the silver butterflies on eBay. These are sold prices, highest four and a half hundred pound. Yeah, 330, 295, 300 almost. That one there, John Atkins and Sons, is what I've got. Not the same pattern, but the same maker. Look at them prices. And if I come here, these are only John Atkins silver enamel butterflies. 290, 250, 225, 150. Let's see the prices. So this is mine. Now, I'm not sure about this bit in the section here, whether it's discolored or whether it has lost a tiny piece. No, it's just the way it's finished. It's finished a little rough. There's nothing missing. That there is black enamel, and then that's just how it finishes there. Let's see there if I turn that. 2378 J A and S for John Atkins and Son, and over here stamped silver. Pound. Then I had. This little butte, which again is an enamel butterfly on a silver horseshoe. Put the whole marked at the top. Now I tried finding um, this one. I couldn't find it, but I did manage to find this, which was in almost like a wishbone rather than a horseshoe. And that one sold for £50. That's a sold price. Uh, that was the only one I could find by this maker, which was A.D. Lovekin. So 
so far we're doing really well i know i had a few rubbish costume ones at the beginning but they're not even rubbish but you know what i mean they're not a silver and gouache enamel um but so far we've had two spectacular silver brooches out of the pack i have got more silver ones to share with you this is amazing it's beautiful a little celluloid terrier little carved celluloid terrier well, i'm presuming celluloid could be plastic but i think celluloid and again it was a pound if you look up celluloid brooches again they're 20 30 pound just for a little uh, celluloid brooch this one is italian murano glass and sterling silver well, i say sterling silver it's not marked but it's uh Murano glass stamped up Italy, and when you look at it, it's silver. I gotta put a bit of testing on it, but it's gonna be a uh, little white metal or silver filigree brooch. So that was a pound Italian, so that's okay. Last cost, no, it's not, like one more, and then I got a bit of silver to share with you. This is absolutely beautiful. I've got to acid test this, it's white metal at the moment. Um, but when I look really close to it, it could be silver. And it's a fantail goldfish, I think. So that one's got to be acid tested. But it's a beautiful brooch nonetheless. Again, it was a pound. This one I wasn't going to put in the video, but I will. A little carved flowers beautiful little brooch there and then the final one we all want to get up in the morning and find a bit of Danish jewelry and there we have a piece of David Anderson it's only stamped up on the bottom there let's see if I can do the pictures instead So there's the enamel brooch with the flowers and the engine turning, absolutely stunning. And there you go, David Anderson, Norway Sterling. Now David Anderson is a name you want to find. In fact, 207 results just for David Anderson enamel brooch. The highest is four and a half hundred, and they come down. See so done the butterflies as well, flowers and so forth, seahorses, owls. They're all good money. I couldn't find a sold example of what I've got, but I did find one that's up for sale or very close to what I got. And they were asking 65. Very close to what I've got, not quite the same. So for about 14 or 15 pounds, I had all those brooches, including the silver galleon, the David Anderson brooch, the two enamel butterfly brooches, the Lucite dog brooch, uh, and the Murano glass brooch. Oh, sorry. And I had a pair of hand-painted enamel bird clip-on earrings. Now, bearing in mind, I bought all this at 3, 3.30ish in the morning um, with a torch. Well, with my phone with the light on. And I was the only dealer at the store. It was lovely. It was like Christmas. So that's my brooches. Then one of the dealers comes up to me. She says, do you know what? It's too cold. I want to go home. Would you like to buy a an Opal bracelet I have? And she offers me a 14 carat yellow gold Opal bracelet. Look at all them Opals. I'm going to show you a picture of them now. They're stunning. Look at the colouring in those opals. Absolutely beautiful. You can see all the different colours and fires. Real nice fire opals. Anyway, it is fully stamped. Both ends. 14 carat. There, 585 and again 
585. The only downside with the entire bracelet is the lobster claw at the end had got damaged and they put a nine carat lobster claw on it. So there's a nine carat lobster claw that's been professionally soldered by a jeweler. Uh, yeah, just checking it's soldered. So nine carat lobster claw, but the entire thing then is 14 carat gold set with. Twenty-seven beautiful opals, and the entire thing weighs thirteen grams. Now you've got to take into consideration: if I was to melt it, you'd, they'd take out two or three grams for the nine carat and for the opals. But that's still like ten grams of fourteen carat gold, and I pay two hundred and fifty pounds. So two hundred and fifty pounds is somewhere around three hundred and fifty dollars. And the brooches at a pound each are like a dollar thirty, dollar thirty-five. So absolutely beautiful. Now I did manage to find one on eBay that had been sold at three hundred, uh, but they didn't put no weight down or size or nothing. Uh, so whoever bought it was quite crafty and bought it, get hoping it would be heavy, and they are. They're uh, thirteen grams. But the opals are as valuable as the gold. That should be a seven, eight hundred pound bracelet minimum, maybe more. Now I did look online, and people are asking two and three thousand for some fourteen karat gold opal bracelets. Okay, so we came across here, and you can see some of the prices. You know, two thousand up there, seventeen hundred, uh, two thousand. 1700 some people are asking real big money for some of these opal bracelets and this is a beautiful example as you see in the photograph and in good condition so i've paid probably the gold value or maybe just under the gold value for a beautiful piece of jewelry <coughs> Next one I had was this, which is a two strand, and people to call these as Murano agate or pebble beads, and they are like flapper necklaces. Uh, this one cost me two pounds, and um, I'm not being funny, they sell for anywhere between sort of 20 and 50 pounds. Beautiful colouring on it. They come in all different shapes. I've got a couple of these that are like 40 inches long and little square beads. Good variety uh, they come in. So, you know, that's like a £30, £35 necklace. No problem at all, to be honest with you. £2, $3. This head off the same lady as the brooches. And we have an amber uh, bracelet. That was 50 pence for amber. It's not an old one, but 50p for amber. Then I had a couple of pieces off a dealer. This one I love. I'll give you an example of how big this necklace is. The size of the beads. The really large, chunky glass shells. Um, so you've got a shell on the top and the bottom, and then you have all the variety of different corals. They are, they're not real coral, I don't think. I think they are glass. They're actually formed as shells. They're not coral. They're little colored shells. So if you can see it. But they're actually little shells, seashells as well. Now I think, I don't know 100%, but I think this is a Murano. Um, it's absolutely stunning quality. It's huge. I can get it on. So I paid a fiver for it, which is about seven dollars, seven and a half dollars. I got to do research on it because I think that one could be a lot of money. Uh, but I think that's sort of thirties to fifties Murano glass necklace. Now Murano do a lot of shells, starfish, things like that. They do a lot to do with the ocean. Been on the island of Murano. Um, that's just really nice. 
to make all those little glass shells around the sides of the big shells and then string it all i think that's going to be quite a lot of money to be honest with and i'm going to get some second opinions on that one find out if it is italian which i think it is uh, this one came in off the same dealer as that that was a fiver this is a fiver so about seven seven and a half dollars again and these are they're not glass these are polished stones and you've got everything on here from agate rock crystal uh, jade there's a whole selection on here good length on the necklace is probably 24 25 inches and there's the agate one look at the coloring on that stunning so they're not glass these are polished stones and again a fiver beautiful thing Okay, let me see. I think I'm gonna leave it there for my jewelry haul. Absolutely love it. At those prices, I'm really, really excited to get back out there and see what the summer brings. <clears throat> Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye for now.